the kinetic 3d rush challenge is finally over and that parkour really parkoured up my back and ran and did a backflip because it really did a toll on me but if i want to be a 3d artist and i want to do this for a living in the future this is the road you have to take let's look at some other artists work who uh, submitted some of their work to their youtube channel i put a playlist together on my channel of other artists who submitted their work or who's almost finished and uh, let's react to it it's gonna go pretty quick so the next video you see may not be the same artist but you'll see the name here of the youtube channel let's go batman running on the roof jumping over a box all the elements in the background just happen to pop up out of nowhere clay render all right so that one looks pretty good can't wait to see the final final result this is another video now this is one of the first videos i saw and i was like wow this is good because i came up with a train theme as well too i'm like this is good i wonder how he made the book bag jump on his back like that uh, i'm not really uh sufficient in unreal engine but that doesn't mean that this is done in unreal engine this could have been done in any other program but more to learn all right so this theme right here sparks you see, I appreciate when the artists put in all the time and all the work into their 3D work, into their art. These little tiny things that you see running in the screen and all the little adjustments that he or she makes, you, a lot of people don't seem to appreciate the work because it goes by your face so quickly. They like jumped over there. All this hard work sparks, bullets flying, smoke effect, background rain <laughs> my goodness well done you know um as i'm sitting here and i'm looking at these other artists work and i'm like wow you, you can just imagine uh, when you put people in a challenge and you give them an opportunity to be themselves and put out their type of like imagination you can always see like you take this and you, you look at your work and you say to yourself all right i'm gonna do this type of work but when you look at another artist's work you say to yourself, man, damn, why didn't I think of that? All right, so we have right here, we have a frog jumping. Gra See, look at that. The frog jumped, did the flip, and then his tongue yanked out his mouth and grabbed a little insect that was flying. That little tiny thing that nobody pays attention to that probably took days in and nights and sleepless nights to put together, and bam, you just ate the bug ran flipped and move on to the next video it's kind of crazy a lot of artists don't really get the recognition that i think that we deserve but it's all for the love of the craft of doing this you know what i'm saying all right so there's a breakdown i'm just, you guys are just hanging out with me i'm just looking at other artists work trying to get some feedback and you know just trying to see what other artists done see what kind of work they put into because i know i put in a lot of work doing this uh parkour challenge and I know it took a lot out of me, so I can imagine the people who, you know, who knew Unreal Engine or who knows how to use their 3D application really well. Now they can just bring their imagination out. And when you look at it, you're like, oh, wow, this goes by so quickly. But all that work put in. All right. What's the next video? Let me go into the next video. OK, good. All right. Starts off with, of course, the template. Ah, <laughs> Nice. Deadpool running. This is good. You you could definitely see that this artist here definitely loves Deadpool and Wolverine, and so do I. Very good. Well done. Well done. Good job. Uh, the characters. Wow, he did a really good job with the characters. The characters look really really good, clean. Because <laughs> I, uh, you know, when you do this 3D challenge, it can get really expensive after a while. You know, to get the characters, to get good looking characters that don't look boxy and low poly. And then look at all the assets he have. I'm sure that Kit Bash don't have those type of assets. So I wish Kit Bash had everything, like th those kind of tanks. They only have one motorcycle, but I'm very grateful for it because I use those motorcycles. So I did not have to pay for that. So just a little bit of work going into it. All right. So my question is, is how did he do the, 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 the portals? Because, you know, when you look at it, it looks good coming from a person who does not really know anything about portals and, and sparks and particle effects, especially in Unreal Engine. Only thing about it is the running part. Did you do that manually? It looks like he's running. It, it, it looks good. The running looks good. It, it just looks a little. It looks good. I don't care. At, at first, I thought it looked a little stiff, but man, I can't do that. So it looks good to me. 
That was a good concept for that artist. All right, so let's move on. Now I'm looking at this one right here, and I'm like, hmm, this one is real good, and the concept is really good. But I'm asking myself, when I was listening to the streams, when Pornister was doing the streams, I know he said try not to move the camera or break the camera, but when you look at when you looked at that video um, and and that character running through the train. It, if you really look at it, it didn't, it didn't look like he broke the camera as far as broke the run cycle. It looked like he just zoomed in, zoomed out, right? Zoomed in. Now, look at this. Oh, mm, yo, that is, this definitely got to make top 100. Definitely, without a doubt. What do you guys think in the comment section below? Let me know. Now, let's move on to the next video. If you guys want to look at any of these artists, definitely see their name here. I'm going to see if hopefully I didn't forget any artists. I apologize because sometimes I can't really see the screen. But what I will do is share the player, the playlist inside of my um, inside of the description of this video. So you can just see the artist himself because I really want to, the artist's name to show here. So this is one of the artists. Now, uh, I'm going to go back one more time just to make sure to see if all the artist's name got shown. Okay, good. So far, I didn't want to discredit anybody. All right, and this artist here, of course, that's the name here. So go to that person's YouTube channel. All right, so we already went there. I got to check my OBS screen, too, as well. Make sure that I'm recording properly. So that's the artist right there. Yo, this person right here has a motion capture data suit. Look at that. Oh, my. my Rokuku. Yo, I'll tell you one thing for sure. If I had a lot of money just to spare, oh, my goodness. I probably have five motion capture suits i'll probably have a whole lifetime subscription i'll be that's all i'll be doing is spending my time just doing motion capture and building outfits for the characters your own unique outfits learning how to use all these beautiful programs i mean i, I think this is zbrush look at that just regular guys like us just in our house and our apartment just doing some amazing stuff Damn, look at that. That was nice. I am definitely feeling how this artist took all those elements and just piled it on top of a mannequin and made it look good like that. Set buildup is nice. Let's fast forward a little bit. If you want to see this artist, you can definitely go check his channel. But the concept is amazing. Look at that. Nice. Damn, he rigged that whole thing and everything. Very good job. This is definitely making top 100 i wouldn't be surprised if this made top five all right let's move on to the next video we all start off with a template and then we make our fingers run and do a flip with a robot arm from the wrists this is good this gives me like a cyber cyberpunk type of environment nice very creative very very creative I i'll be honest with you i wouldn't have thought about anything like this the breakdown now like i said before i'm going to put a link in the description to the playlist that i put together that you can look through and uh you can just see most of the artists here definitely got to give them their props uh this is the artist right here wow it's a mesh tech warrior cartoon almost kind of like a cartoon shader now i'd like to know what program this was done in it has about a minute and 45 seconds so because is this a blender program was that done in maya was it done in, in unreal engine and how did you make this character run like this? this is amazing so many things to learn but there's so many things that you can see as possible when it comes to 3d and 3d animation and this challenge really brings out a lot in, in a lot of us artists and 3d artists i would have liked to see if pornishore had allowed everyone to use ai full ai art I mean, I know they would have probably landslided every piece of art here, and it would have probably caused a lot of controversy. But hopefully, in the future, Punisher can 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 make the rules where it in a, a small exception for AI art. You may not win anything, but at least your AI art can be shown. Because I'd like to see how AI art compares to um to traditional artist. All right, let's go to the next video can't stay on one video for too long although i wish i could uh all right start off with the template he's figuring out yeah trust me i was trying to figure out the story as well too it took me a while to figure out what story i'm going to tell 
All right, so we, I, I'm, I'm a, I already know this is Spider-Man versus Rhino. So from the perspective of Spider-Man, he is running, and then Rhino jumps out, hits the truck, and then he runs up on the wall. So now you're looking at it from the wall's perspective. So that was pretty tricky to pull that off to make it look that good. So actually, so I wonder what what did this artist do? Did they turn the camera or did they turn the entire environment? I, I would probably say they turned the camera while keeping it in the run cycle. So hopefully you know none of these videos make it to the pit of despair just from one mistake i heard so it's a good breakdown like i said if you want to know how these artists uh you want to know more these more about these artists you can go to their youtube channel uh this one right here that, that's this one's a fuels of nightmares so um i'm apparently this character well, <laughs> that's funny that's how you have to start off with the blocking it's funny because you have to just say okay at yeah, the size the the distance is it worth putting this in the camera? Uh, if anybody in, the, in looking at this video knows a good place where I can learn how to animate like multi-legged characters like that, like this artist here, I, I don't even know where to start. Do I, do I have to rig it myself? And no, no, look, now he made the, the character explode as well. So this is next level behavior right here. Whoa, nightmare fuel right there. Sorry, guys, gave you some good nightmares. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next artist. Okay, good. So uh, let make sure I see the name. Okay, now this one is really interesting. This is this reminds me of a, of a, um, of a film I used to watch on Netflix. I forget the name of it, but uh, I can't think of the name right now. But this is like majestic. He's running and he's sliding, and this whale or alien whale is jumping out of whatever type of liquid that is. I mean, we, we don't want to know if we're in the where are we? What world? What strange mythical world are we on? And why is this? Why is this guy running? Oh, look at that! Nice. I always want. I always wondered. How do you? What do you use to do this type of effect? Do you use um, Niagara, or is there a particular plugin, or do you use like uh, Fluid Flux? I don't know. You tell me. But this is a pretty good uh, piece of art here gives you like this airy feeling this guy's running and he's like what am i running from i don't know <laughs> all right let's see if we can find the next video if i can find the play button okay good all right so of course yeah i'm just sitting here and now this one right here is pretty decent because this artist used all the animations that came with it and he put it all or she put it all in the avengers now, this is a pretty good concept though I like the concept. This is pretty good. I know this is definitely going to make top 100 because it looks good. It's a good concept. And all the run animations were used too. Cool. Let's see what Hulk is doing. Bam. All right, Hulk. That's right. That was a good concept. I can't lie about this part. This one was good. Right, let's move on to the next artist. That one was good. That one was a really good one. All right, so some, you know, with this playlist, it just jumps to the next video. So I, sometimes I don't even know if it's playing the same video or not. So please forgive me. So it always starts off with the draft. I always like I learned, you know, it's always different processes when it comes to putting your art together and learning, especially coming from someone like me, from my perspective. It's all about imagination, all about template, all about just laying down the foundation. Sometimes it may look ugly at first, but it, when you look at the art from the beginning, it, at the end of the art, it damn near never looks like what your template looks like or what your blocking look like. And then when you go back to the block and you're like, whoa, nice. He, man, this artist told an incomplete story with this one. He, this artist took it from the kinetic. OK, told a little opening story. You don't even know what type of adventures these artists are are trying to depict when they put these characters in these scenarios. And the little tiny things that nobody pays attention to, like the hair wisping in the wind and a little bit of debris and the and the particles coming off of the aliens and the and the stone figures in the back. Oh, I like this artist. I, I, he was on the uh, Punisher live stream. This artist is good. So moving on to the next artist. Let's see what you have in store for us. OK, starts off good. Always oh, starts off with the run. Nice, nice background. It's gonna crash through it. I think sometimes when you look at the blocking, it's like looking at your parents cook dinner from scratch. You're like, oh, I don't like the way that looks. You're putting this in there. I don't believe you're drinking this and, and, and dropping this in there. You'd be like, get out of the kitchen. But you love the food that I make, right? 
So what I'm trying to say is that the beginning phases sometimes looks weird, wonky, and out of place. So don't judge the artist for his beginning work. It's like laying down a foundation. Look, he's just laying, laying down a foundation. You know what I mean? While his art, while his character's laying, he's like, you know what? Let me lay here while this artist cook. And this dude is cooking. Cooking real good. Right now, see, uh, the lighting is always so beautiful. Like, when you look at the little tiny things, like, how do you make a portal? Can anybody tell me how to make a portal? Give me a link to a video on how to make a really nice portal in Unreal Engine. Now, this artist right here gave me a Toy Story vibe. Oh, man, this is so beautiful. How? How? Did, what did you use to render this? I, now, when I go, when I get a chance, I'm going to look at this artist's entire video and the way how this artist, because as you can see, he's giving you a backstory on how he thought about this and where he, you know, where he's coming from. It's an 11-minute video, so we can't stay on it too long. But... This is the artist right here, and oh god, forgive me again, guys. I just want to make sure that I gave most of the other artists their show, like this one right here. I didn't show this artist. Ah, oh, good thing I went back, because I wasn't looking at the OBS screen. So this is the artist right here. I just want to go back and see if I got make sure, like this one right here. I didn't do that, so I apologize. So that's that artist right here, because you're like, whoa, which artist is this? But you know, it's like I said before, it's going to be in the description anyway. But I just want them to see it right now, so. Apologies. It's really hard to do a reaction on a YouTube channel while you're looking at it, while you're indulging in it. So, now did I get to this yet? Let me. I don't want to get too far ahead of me. I don't want to make this video too long, but I'm just hanging out. Oh, good. I'm in the right spot. We already did the Toy Story looking one. That's nice. So I'm gonna make it a habit to look over. That's the artist channel right there, so you can go to the artist. All right. So. Artist is putting together, of course, you never know. You look at it, you're like, whoa, what's this guy doing? What is it? What is it? What are they thinking about? Okay. Oh, fallen tree. My first my first reaction, my first idea was gonna be like us humans being really small like ants and big ginormous megalithic trees fell and they look like mountains and we're running through hollow uh, trees, but it's really we think it's a really like uh, tunnels, but it's really inside of a tree. But it was just so much work to put in to do that in that short amount of time. But I see, look at this. Now this is a pretty good concept here. You're running on a treadmill in VR. Now you see the little like a Doctor uh, Octa, doc, like Doctor Octopus, like wire hanging out from the, his back. That is, I don't know how to do this. And I'm like, oh man. Just a little things, just a little things that you pick up as you go along just makes you better when it comes to the next project. Don't you think? I'm, I'm sure most of you who who's been uh, participated in the Kinetic Rush Challenge, the next challenge or the next project you do, you're going to probably breeze through it. Look at this. I know definitely this is going to make top 100. This is nice. This is real nice. Look, he made a whole complete underwater world. This guy in a scuba suit is running. Somebody's trying to try to take him out because he's they're shooting through the glass, so they don't even care if the water gets through that wherever that scuba person is. Now, I'm looking at the character run and look at the wires, the smoke effect, the jumping, the book bag move. Well, the, the backpack moving. Those are little tiny details that make the 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 art look so much more real. You know, and just those little things. And I'm like wondering, wow, these artists, they sit down, they're on their computers, they're learning, and they're doing such amazing things. Ah, oh, God, let's go to the next artist. I can stay here all day. All right, so let me make sure to look over. That's the artist right there. Very nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was looking at this one. This one's real detailed. This one's about four minutes long, but um, just take a look at it. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to just like look at work from other artists i'm like damn i see some of these work like this right here i'm like man how 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 would where'd you even begin you know even if you showed us like what a four minute video that's still how many years have you been doing this this is amazing it's just always good to see different artists from all over the world bring their ideas to the forefront let's go to the next artist Well, who's this artist? This is your boy Michael Hurdle. This is me. This is my this is my actual final animation. So this is my um, artwork. 
I, I went with a more of like a just like two steampunk or cyberpunk characters running away and they're running from the SWAT team and we don't know why they're running and they're like oh my god here let me run over this and jump over this SWAT team is chasing them and I have to place the SWAT people in the right place so they won't go through the train some of the SWAT team went through the train but from the camera angle you never saw it because who cares it's all about the camera what you see in the final render whatever happens in the back who cares and you never know so yeah that's my final uh, artwork Man, look at this one. Nice. Woo. Oh, I love the lighting. I love everything. I love the lasers. I love the car. I love how it just popped up. Gives me like that cyber. Like it, it really is a cyber pursuit. And most of these artists here, you can go to their YouTube channel, subscribe to them, like their material. Tell them that you saw their work here and uh, give them props you know, because man it's not easy a lot of 3d artists don't get the props that we deserve because people think that you can just bark orders at us and then we're supposed to just make miracles happen and yeah we can but the only how we can make miracles happen is if you go deep into your wallet or your pocketbook and move that change over and pull out those crispy hundred dollar bills and send it to our cash app or send it to our zelle or paypal and you give us more money for every time you ask us to make a change that may encourage us more you know what i mean but a lot of you don't like to do that you like to just bark orders and say hey change this and i'm like whoa this is gonna take three weeks to change you're like make it happen mm -hmm. my little pet peeve uh oh i'm getting like a halo vibe right now going into battle look at this artist here i just want to make sure okay great you can see the artist's name there his youtube channel or her looking pretty good i'm just probably wondering like man like how did you did you hand did you hand animate these did you did you did you get pre-done animations because i i know mixamo does not have a running and then having a weapon in your hand and firing at the same time animation because i looked at all their running animations so this I, as you can see he has a skeleton i mean he has a rig on each one of them so this looks like this could be hand animated and if so damn top 100 what i, I i'm smelling it i'm smelling it because it's, it's a real deep battle right now we don't know what's going on but people is dropping left and right and i think these soldiers are going to make it these soldiers mean business <laughs> Let's move on. Uh oh, we got a little lizard jumping in the, in the forest and a big lizard in the background. That was pretty nice. You see, the concepts are, it, it depends on what you think, because what made me choose the concept and the idea that I went is because I really did not know as much things that I would like to know when it comes to 3D animation in Unreal Engine. So I just said to myself, what do I know the most? What do I know? Because I've been practicing a lot of tutorials and I've been learning how to take pre-done animations and add them to characters and and retarget animations to different multiple characters like Unreal Engine's rigs and Mixamo and Sketchfab and how to put skeletons on them. And that's what I've been doing for the past few weeks before this challenge came out. So I just went straight to doing that. So that's why you saw see so many characters running around in my scene here. All right, let's go to the next artist. Wish we could stay on these artists for a long period of time, but there's so many of them that, I, you know, it's going to take up and probably make a four-hour video doing this. Nice. Look at that. Nice. Helicopter comes, jump on the helicopter, give me a lift. I'm going to the build. This guy's this guy is so gangster. This soldier is so gangster, he don't even need a helmet during war. He just running bearhead. He's like, yeah, I'm just running. Bam. Helicopter pilot is gangster. This is a really good scene right here. I mean, if you look at if you do a breakdown, the light effects in the background, the smoke. I don't see the smoke moving, but it looks like it's moving really slow. And if that smoke is real smoke back there and you have it blowing up really sm slow really good but even if um even if that was real or fake still look good back there now this scene right here kind of put me in a in a different mood i was like what's going on here what 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 happened is it is it a, is it a, a natural disaster is it a storm is it some type of bomb going off 
What what happened here? And where are you guys running to? And what's the purpose of the umbrella if all that stuff is broken up back there? You know what I mean? But then again, that's human nature. You will try to try to use an umbrella, even though it's raining rocks and, and pebbles. Okay, but besides that, this artwork right here is pretty good. I even like the soundtrack this artist picked to when they when he or she uploaded this video. All right. Oh, so that's okay. That's smart. Oh, you see, I have to really learn how to hand animate because that's when you're going to get a lot of unique and, and really good looking pieces of animation. When you learn how to rig and animate and then export baked animations on your own. Oh, man, it makes a big difference. And I love the fact that the that you can see that the two main characters are color and the others are not in color. If you really look at it and most things that's in color, it just gives you like this this look like you know whoa i'm just it, my eyes are just fixated on just these color characters this is good i definitely see top 100 on this one right here without a doubt let's move on to the next artist all right <laughs> all right shoo let's go all right we starting off with the jump over a box i would call it run He's like looking back. Now you see, like you see how this soldier's running back and looking. That's the kind of animation you'll get if you do your own hand animations instead of using pre-done animations. Unless you have like a Rokuku motion capture suit. I promise you one day I'm going to own one of those suits. And the amazing things I'm going to do is going to be ridiculous. It's going to push my production level higher. Ooh, you saw that gear in the background? That was nice. Let me show you the artist real quick. I forgot to do that. Man, that's nice. Now, are we on a new video? Let me just make sure. Uh, no, okay. We're on the same video. But look at the gears in the background. That's a lot of work to be putting back there. Good job, artists. You did a really fantastic job on that. Right there with the wind effect. The gears in the background. People running. Just gives you a feel like, what's going on? Where am I going? I'm running with something. I got to get that thing to where I got to go right now. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm running. And it's going to take me five seconds to get there. Mm -hmm. He's running straight into your imagination because he's running to tattoo himself to your brain. He's like, put me in top 100 or at least put me in the montage. <laughs> I, to this minute, I have not seen any. Oh, look at this. Whoa, this is wow. Damn, hold up. <laughs> That's only 50 seconds long. Let's see what we got for 50 seconds. Damn, man. Very nice. Oh, my goodness. Now, you can see that this artist right here knows exactly what they're doing. Because, I mean, look, even the little details in the clothes, the gear. You know, sometimes you wish you can sit down. I, I, you know, one day I'm going to sit down with some of these artists if they have a moment and do a little video and see how they uh, how they function and what they do and what kind of life they live. Because, you know, you don't even know what type of life these people live. Hold that. Hold that middle. Ha, ha, ha. Gaga, -ga 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 -ga, as Popeye would say. That was dope. I need to look, just look at that one more time. I mean, come on, not lie. don't lie. You know that this right here is definitely making it to top 100, without a doubt. This is crazy. Damn, that was nice. It's a lot of good artists, man. It's a lot. I, yo, I don't know how these people are gonna pick a winner, because to me, everyone's a winner. Because look at this, man. These are really good artists putting in a lot of time, just showing you their ideas. All right, so what he's doing? Throwing a little a little bomb at these little alien creatures. Oh, it's a, sp a space rabbit. Oh, are space rabbits good or are space rabbits evil? That's the million dollar question. Can you pet a space rabbit if you ran into a space rabbit? Is the question. Just asking. <laughs> All right, so some of these videos are just gonna pop up to the to the next video. And if I have not shown your YouTube channel art, uh, the art or your artist, I'm sorry. I will put a link to this playlist in the description. So if your video was in this, you definitely should go check the artist and show them some love because it's important. This reminds me of the old Rolling Thunder video game I used to play back in the day. <laughs> A lot of work, a lot of work, color grading. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't color grade anything. I just went into my editor and I just did a little tiny bit of color onto it, but not that much, not no fancy color grading because 
I still have not passed my color grading tutorials and my color grading classes. So, yeah. All right. So I think we're on to the next video. I think we got like a few more videos left. I think we got a lot more videos left. I don't want to go too, too, too long. I think we were already on this video. Let's see if there's any. Probably we already finished. Yeah, I think these are. Let me see what the other one is. Oh, my fault. Oops. No, I'm messing up my playlist. Damn. Let me go back to let me let me go to the nearest one. I'm sorry. All right, so we already pushed 30 minutes. Not bad, just for the reaction video. Uh, thanks for just chilling out with me for 30 minutes. If you made it to this far and looked at this video, props to you. Because I mean, people attention span these days they don't they don't make it. Probably a minute past the video, so just doing that so i'm just looking at some of the rea um some of the uh, artists video that they submitted to their channels and uh my playlist it was a little too long and it's already past 30 minutes so i think i'm just gonna end it right here but i'm still gonna leave the playlist in the description for some of the other artists that i didn't get a chance to show here but i'm just gonna keep updating it as i go along and as I see somebody uh, upload a new video, but uh, thank you for hanging out with me and I just, you know, chilling out with me watching other artists put up their work. And I got to say some amazing, some amazing work. And to me, no one's a loser here. Everyone's a winner. It's just hard to give those prizes away. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be really hard. I wouldn't want to be the judges. But Rokuku, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Rokuku. I'm coming to get that suit. Trust me, as soon as my, as soon as my bank account get right. I'm going to knock right on your website's door. <laughs> anyway, my name is Michael Hurdle from the Michael Hurdle Production Studios, rendering your imagination. And I'll talk to you the next time I do a video. Peace, love, and hair grease. <laughs>